this is a 2019 Stanley half inch ratchet, 89 819. Um, I got it in on warranty and I opened it up and I was all excited because it had a different style uh, gear and it has this whole section is a push button now instead of just a little tiny one. And I thought, hot dog, it's going to be all metal inside and I can, you know, have a real ratchet now. Definitely not the case. It is exactly the same internals, all, you know, plastic shit inside still. Um, it looks to be the identical pieces from the 2018 model, but uh, there's one little change with the ball detent, but it's it's the same thing inside. It's no different. And, uh, you know, that was good. So that was, that was my disappointment for the day. And uh, I took it apart, and we'll see what it is. So I was all excited. I thought, hey, you know, maybe this will be like a really cool new design, and it'll be all metal internals and everything. No, it's all plastic inside. It's got almost the exact same parts inside. Complete piece of garbage. Um, it looks like it is the same parts inside. This pretty much looks the same here. This little, uh, uh, Paul, I think that's what it's called, the Paul. And, uh, it's held together with a snap ring now instead of screws. And, uh, taking it apart is a complete bitch. Um, this is not, it's an internal, uh, recessed snap ring. So it sits inside this groove here. And getting that out, it's got just a little tiny lip on the edge here. And you have to get like a little tiny pick to shove in there and I've got these little tiny picks and they're really that's about all they're good for but it that's the only way I got it open and uh, getting it back in I'm sure will be just as much fun uh, and then once you get that apart this comes out and then this sits inside of here which is going to be difficult to see I should get a flashlight um, but you can see inside the head it's pretty nasty <laughs> It's, it's not nice looking, and um, I don't think this is going to be possible to show. Let me see if I can get better light. And then really all you need to see, that big thing there, is all plastic again. That's your whole uh, directional change thing, and it's just the exact same piece of plastic as in the 2018 model. Uh, exact same thing, you know, just flips back and forth, left and right. But this one also has, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, I can't point and hold the light at the same time. On the very left side, towards the edge of the head, there's a little thin, thin strip of plastic. And that holds a detent in somehow. There's a detent built in underneath that piece of uh, metal. It's holding something. It's just some kind of detent that's holding. And you can see very tiny, small holes there. Uh, on the 2018 model, there's two ball bearings in those holes that uh, are the detents for the left and right change, so you get a little, you know, spring action when you hit the direction. I believe that piece of metal now uh, is the faceplate for the ball bearing detent. So I tried to get it out, but you can see it's a whole big thing, and I, you know, two seconds I tried to play around with it. It doesn't easily slide out, so I, you know, that's about as much as I care. I'm not going to play with it anymore. but. The whole point, uh, this 2019 model, exact same parts inside, it's no different. Um, you know, still plastic inside, not an improvement in any capacity at all. And they shipped it, the head on this still has almost no uh, oil on the gearing. I gotta move the camera. It's got, it's very, very dry. There's a little surface oil on it, but you know, it's not oiled correctly. Now reassembling this thing is gonna be a total uh, uh, corn cob and a half. Uh, when I pulled this pawl out, the spring was kind of just in there. Well, you know, actually I think it'll go in easy because this just slides into, there's a big hole in there. And I think if I just put that spring in there and slide it in, it should just go in. Let's do that. Amazingly, it went in. So that was easy. There's a slot on the top of the plastic, uh, direction change thing. You just have to make sure the top side of the spring is in that slot because that part of the slot provides, you know, torsion to turn the direction change and stuff. It's, it's, it's what you got to have aligned. If it's not in the right direction, it probably won't change directions and you'll get a really weird feeling, so it won't work. And then after that, all you do is you just slide this in. It just sits in there and uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's almost in. And uh, then you got to put the, oh, the uh, snap ring back on. I think I'm going to oil this because it's you know so dry and shitty as it is out of the box I don't like oil like that that's like you know like a three-in-one oil it's not adequate for these so I'm gonna put my red permatex on this and make an absolute mess uh, so let's look forward to seeing that and then cleaning it up yay I hate it so much 
I put down some plastic on this cardboard, and I wonder if that'll make it any less of a mess. I mean, it's not going to, but I guess I'll try. Um, <clears throat> I guess if you were going to be someone that was fastidious in their application of lubrication, um, it would be worth your time to take brake cleaner to this and really clean everything off, because when you have a surface contaminant on there, such as whatever the hell they put on there from, you know, Beijing or whatever, uh, it may cause the other oil to not stick correctly, and, um, you know, I don't care, so I'm gonna do this this way, and this is just Permatex engine assembly lube. It's the worst stuff in the world for handling. I hate it so much, and uh, it, it's 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 what it is. So let's uh, let's do this. So, I've made an absolute mess of this. Um, my professional tactic was to apply gloves, and that uh, helped somewhat. Um, now I have to get this in there and get it off everything else. Yay! So, that is in, and now I need to remove um, all of the lube that I just put on. Yay! And to remove the uh, excess lubricant, I'm using uh, NASCAR-approved uh, shop Kleenexes. They're 45% uh, more expensive than regular ones and work about half as good, so uh, really impressed with them. Glad they've got the NASCAR certification on the box. Uh, let's see. Now, the only other thing, I've got to get this snap ring on there, and I'm not sure how... I don't know if I really need to do anything with that. I don't think it needs to be, you know, specially lubed or anything like that or brake cleaned or anything. So I just think I'm going to try to shove this in there. The uh, tactic for doing this will be to get the blunt edge. You can see there's one edge that's got a tip and one edge that's totally flat. If I can get it back out now, I'll try to show it. See, okay, look, the uh, right edge is totally blunt. That needs to go in first and that needs to be stabled down. Um, the uh, rest of it should follow. Okay, snap ring is in. Um, this ratchet, I mean, this is it. This is all I'm going to really do to it, and then uh, I'll use it until I spill brake cleaner on it and ruin the insides again. Um, there isn't really much else you can do with it. It's just a cheap, shitty ratchet. I'm really just shocked that they put plastic inside of these. And it's a half-inch ratchet, so you're going to be doing actual stuff with it. I mean, this isn't a, like a quarter-inch ratchet where it'll only see, you know, five foot-pounds or anything. This is uh, supposed to be a pretty serious torque handling beast, and it's got plastic inside of it. It's just shit. Same thing as the last year model. It's just not, it's not made right, and there's no reason for it. There's just, there's no reason for that. There's no ratchet in the world that uses plastic inside of it. I can't think of a single one, and I've looked. I've tried to find another one. I can't do it. There's other ratchets, like Harbor Freight sells a composite handle ratchet, which is plastic outside. And that'll have the same problems. You spray brake cleaner on it, it'll just get ruined. It won't, you know, it'll just fall apart because brake cleaner just eats plastic. And anything, if you use acetone to clean anything, it'll just eat plastic. It melts it instantly. So, you know, depending on what kind of plastic it is, it'll probably just melt right away. But the inside of the composite handled ratchets, they have, they're just like this. They're just a metal one, but they've just got a plastic, you know, molding around the outside. So it's not really, you know, like a plastic bodied ratchet. It's, it's you know, it's a little bit different. But uh, maybe, not, well, you know, Harbor Freight, who knows, it might be a plastic head on there too. I don't know that for sure, but I, I, what I've read is it's supposed to have a metal handle. I'll reserve that until, you know, I get a chance to tear one apart. I have one somewhere, but uh, that's pretty much it for this ratchet. It's, uh, you know, same disappointment as last year, no difference. I mean, if you're looking for a decent ratchet, 
you know, whatever these cost, I don't know, they're, I think they're like $15 now, it's a lot of money, they've gone up, and it's not worth that, you can get something better than that, you go on eBay and buy something nicer than that, and uh, that's pretty much it, so bye.